Welcome to episode two of the Expert's Guide to Empires and Puzzles. This is Nittany Line Roar with Extreme Panda. And today I'm going to talk about power leveling. First of all, power leveling is whenever you go find one of your completely unleveled five-star heroes and you level it all up in one sitting. And it takes less than an hour to do. In fact, you can do it somewhere between a half an hour and 45 minutes if you're pretty quick. Um, but it all depends on your preparation. It has everything to do with your training camps. I keep hearing newer or less experienced people just kind of throw out there that, oh, they just spend money. Those people who power level, it's just money. It takes money. That couldn't be further from the truth. That is totally 100% wrong. It takes absolutely no money whatsoever to power level a hero. Once you have the hero, if you've prepared appropriately, you can power level anything. In fact, it, this is probably uh, better for free-to-play players even because... When you have a training camp 20 running and you get that five star hero and you want to level it as fast as you possibly can, if you've prepared correctly, you can do it right away. So how do you prepare to do it? Um, first, I'm going to show you how to set it up, but I'm not going to actually do it for you right now. If you want to watch it in action, I'm going to link a time lapse video where I actually do it uh, with Ranbir. Uh, and then I'm also going to uh, link a, a video to where Zero Power leveled one of his heroes, uh, Gregorian. And he talks in more detail. It's slowed down so he, he you can actually see what he's doing uh, little by little. All right, so here's what you do. First of all, I would suggest making sure that one of your training camps is level 20. Two is okay too, especially if you're a free-to-play player. That's means more likely that you're going to get a five-star hero out of it. Uh, but at least one training camp needs to be set on training camp 20. Uh, and you can see that I've started one right here. Um, and that's because this is where you're going to store all the food that you need for the power leveling. So you can see that I have another training camp set up on training camp 11. You're going to need at least two camps set up on training camp 11. And I think the ideal setup is one training camp 20, two training camp 11s, and one training camp uh, 2, uh, which is uncommon. Um, but that training camp too, you can also use uh, for your power leveling um, by uh, doing the the extra fast, um, the extra fast one here. Let me show you that. Uh, extra fast common heroes really quickly. That one helps too for when you're trying to power level. Okay, so what's happening is you've got all the training camps set up that way uh, for about a month, and and sometimes it doesn't take a month. It just depends how disciplined you are, but. For about a month, what's happening is you're just loading up one of the training camp 20s until it's got uh, over 100, somewhere between 100 and 200 days worth of food in it. And as you're going through the map and opening chests and things like that, you're making sure to save uh, all of your trainer heroes. Um, and don't, don't use those on any other heroes. So really you're not hardcore leveling any other heroes while you're doing this too. Okay, so what happens is you're saving up, you're saving up, and then you get that hero you want. Let's say the month just started, and you summoned, and you got the hero of the month. Now you go grab your hero of the month. Uh, this month it was Sashat, so you grab your Sashat, and then you go to level her up. And when you start, you start with just the one-star heroes that are off-color, and uh, you go completely leveling, leveling uh, her up with that. Um, like I said, I'm not going to do it right now. But then you go back to your training camps, you collect more heroes, you do that. Um, they go higher and higher. And what, what you're going to find is you're going to run out of food. So that's where you go back to your training camp 20 and you take out the food and use it. And then you throw more of the recruits back into the other training camp, training camp 11. So really you're just shuffling recruits and food around from training camp 20 and training camp 11. Um, and that's what I'm doing right now. So if I wanna put more food into my training camp 20, then I can take recruits out of the training camp 11 and store the food in there. And so while you're power leveling, you're just shuffling back and forth like that. You're going to find if you have a, over 100 days worth of uh, recruits 
inside of your training camp 20, uh, that's a lot of food. You're going to be able to uh, definitely level up a hero with that. The other thing you can do is save up all of these summon tokens. Uh, you know, I've reached the point before where I've had like 40, 50, 60, and they're just waiting for the right hero to spend them on. So between your daily summon tokens, between your training camp saving things up for weeks or months, and saving all of your trainers, you can max a five-star hero very quickly. So that's how you set it up. If you want to watch the video of it in action, please click on the links in the description. And thanks for watching.